everyone, Frog here, welcoming you to Bookshop Tales. Yay! It's so great to see you. Oh, thanks for joining us on our show today. And we've got a good one. We've got a really good book lined up for you. And I wanted to present something called Finding Your Space. Yeah! We are so busy in our lives that it's important that we find some time to just relax every day. Yeah. So I hope you can find a little spot somewhere where you can just read or maybe you could listen to music or just think and just relax. Yeah. I've got a song about my little space and I want to sing it to you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I am just a little frog, I'm sitting on my lily pad. This is absolutely the most fun I have had. I hope you have a little place that you can call your special space. I hope it's in the little sun. Now my song is done. Now my song is done. Now my tongue is done. There you go. Well, enjoy the show, and I hope your day goes swimmingly. See ya. Hi, welcome to Bookshop Tales. I'm Dust Bunny, and I'm here to read you a really great book. Do you know what makes it great? It's all about a rabbit. Yay, rabbits. I'm so excited to read it. It's called The Whispering Rabbit. And a whispering rabbit kind of sounds like this. Yeah. It's by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Cindy Zicharis. Yeah, it's published by Golden Books. Let's find out why this rabbit is whispering. Oh, hi. Are you ready for the story? I'm ready for the story. And I think, I think that's the little rabbit right there. Let's find out. Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn. Eddie yawned, Eddie yawned, Eddie yawned, Eddie yawned. <sighs> he opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. And he yawned and he yawned and suddenly a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. Oh, 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 let's find out what happens next. Hoo, hoo, said the big round owl. Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn, hooted the owl. Rabbits never do that said the little rabbit. It's true. We don't, we don't cover our mouths when we yawn. We just yawn like that. Silly rabbits, said the owl, and he flew away. The little rabbit wanted to call after the owl, but he opened his mouth to speak. But the bumblebee was curled up asleep in his throat, and all the little rabbit could do was whisper. Ooh. What shall I do? He whispered to a squirrel who wasn't sleepy. That's true, squirrels are never sleepy. Ugh, they're kind of hyper. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How, whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper, and I'm sleepy, and I want to go to sleep. But who can sleep with a bumblebee? Silly 
Suddenly, a wise old groundhog popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said, and I will whisper to you how to wake up the bumblebee. Oh, cool, he knows how. You have to make the bumblebee I'm sorry, you have to make the littlest noise you can possibly make because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He's a very little bee and he's only interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper, asked the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog, and he popped back into his hole. A little noise, said the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air, but the bee did not wake up. Hmm. I wonder what that sound would, would sound like. It, you know, like a bird going through the air. Maybe it goes whoosh. Do you want to try that noise with me? Here we go. Whoosh. Yeah. So the little rabbit made up the sound of snow falling, but the bee did not wake up. Oh, snow is very quiet when it falls. Yeah, and it makes everything else quiet too. So I wonder, I wonder what kind of sound snow makes when it falls. Maybe hush. Do you want to try that? Here we go. Hush. Yeah, maybe. So he made a little rabbit sound of a bug breathing. Oh, I bet they breathe really fast, kind of like. Do you want to try that? Here we go. Yeah. And a fly sneezing. That to be a very tiny sneeze, like, like that. You want to try that? Ready? And grass rustling. Oh, that sounds so pretty. Do you want to try that with me? And a firefighter thinking. I wonder what he would think about maybe, oh, I hope my fire engine is clean. You want to say that with me? Oh, I hope my fire engine is clean. But still the bee did not wake up. So the little rabbit sat and thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? A sound, a quiet sound as snow melting. Maybe goosh, goosh. Wanna try that one? Goosh. Quiet as a flower growing. Hmm. How about Try that one. Boop. Quiet as an egg resting in its shell. Whoa. Hmm. I have no idea what that sound would make. And we'll just be quiet for a minute. I'm an egg resting in my shell. Okay. And suddenly he knew the little noise that he would make. And he made it. It was like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee in an apple tree in full bloom on a mountaintop. Well, it was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from the apple blossom. Maybe, do I try that one? Yeah. And at that, the bee woke up. Oh, whew, what a relief. 
He thought he was missing something. And away he flew. Yep, there he goes. And then what did the little rabbit do? That sleepy, sleepy little rabbit? He closed his mouth. He closed his eyes. He tucked in his paws and twitched his nose. Twitchy, twitchy, twitchy. And he went sound asleep. I guess I fell asleep too. Well, that's the end of our book. Oh, I had so much fun making those sounds with you guys today. Yeah. It's interesting to think about, hmm, quiet sounds. Because a lot of the time, I think we just hear loud sounds. So you know what? I'm going to be listening for quiet sounds. Maybe you can do that too. Yeah. Thank you for joining me today on Bookshop Tales. I hope to see you again soon. Dust Buddy signing out. Bye. Hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I sure enjoyed that book. Yeah. And don't forget to find your little place, your little space. Yes. Don't forget to like us and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.